this reading, Leo. Um, I've already pulled a card here for you. Um, I wanted to do this off camera because I just didn't want to waste any time. It's not going to be a long reading, but I want to see what's going to come out here for you. And the card that I pulled was in the world, not of the world. Okay. And I want you to hear what this message is for you, Leo. It says this card here is a message, a message to let you know that sometimes we need our defenses. And at other times it is clear that we out, we are outgrowing them. There is something that you have outgrown. It has to do with your ideas about productivity, time, control, or money. It has, it has to do with abundance, trust, and living with the fundamental belief that everything is going to turn out okay, Leo. You are ready to be more, much more vulnerable and, and exposed in life. You don't have to hide being behind organized, perfect, in control, or financially secure and stable. Nor do you need any other acceptable sociable face. This is very interesting. Because when you read this, you know, I'm actually taken back by this because I would never think that a Leo will be putting on front. But let's look at that again. It says you are ready to be more vulnerable and exposed. You don't have to hide by being perfect, always in control of your finances and feeling stable all the time. Now, I will tell you, you don't want anyone to see that you are missing a beat. But I feel like there's a deeper message here that for some of you, you are holding on too tight. There's something restrictive about the way your energy feels. There's something more freer out there for you. And I feel like you guys are in a, in a process of needing faith. Here it says this message is that you are shedding. It may be an identity that you're shedding. It might be a status symbol. It could be your, you know, a status symbol as a car, maybe a relationship. You are shedding because no matter what the appearance of things are, those old forms were too constrictive for you. Uh-huh. You're being guided to trust, trust yourself and to let go. Okay. Um, you know, I am seeing that for you, a lot of you, you're conditioned to, you know, have conditioning about money, security, uh, and so you have been trying to control certain things, but either way with this card, it is definitely telling you to be free to let go. And, um, you know, I'm not saying feel more vulnerable to other people, but to trust that the universe will take care of you. And like it said, that you will be okay, Leo. I don't know where that's going to hit you guys. I thought that that was very interesting because that's not something that I usually see for Leos at all. Okay, but that's the message that for a lot of you, you're just putting on a face, you're smiling, you are, you know, you know, trying to be strong on the inside and some of you guys are really falling apart. Okay, there is here with one of the cards that popped out here for you, it says opportunity or windfall. Okay, that I'm seeing huge opportunity that I'm seeing coming in here for you, whether with a job or with some type of money. And this is what the eclipse energy is bringing. Okay. Let's go ahead. Let's keep going. This is for Leo. Now, I did have a card here that says a lot of you are going to be taking some type of vacation. You will be going on some type of vacation. There is a loss that I see that some of you may be experiencing a different type of loss. Some people are losing loved ones. Some people may be, you know, it could be a relationship, but I do see that here. Keep seeing increasing your finances really, really good. And also your spiritual growth is your spirituality and your intuition is growing as well. A lot of achievement, work and success here that I'm seeing here for you and love deep a deep love, affectionate, caring kind of love that will be coming your way. So some of you feel like, you know, you don't know which way to turn. You will be guided in the direction that you need to go in. I promise you. Some of you may be buying a new car, but I do see, I see traveling or wheels on the road. I'll say it that way, wheels on the road. But yeah, but I do see some type of ending here for some of you. 
let's go ahead let's get into we're going to get to another portion of your reading this is going to be for leo this is for leo <clears throat> Okay, that's all I needed. So the universe is really asking you um, to let you know that you'll be taken care of, but a lot of you are suffering from disappointment. It says every disappointment is a blessing and there's a lesson to be learned, okay? And it's gonna help you make better decisions in life. Some of you guys may have made terrible decisions about something, you may be regretting it. But either way, it's just, like I said, it, this is going to end up being a blessing for, for you. You know, don't mope on it. <laughs> just recharge and get back into your normal routine, okay? Just let it go, right? And that's exactly what this card says. Let go of what no longer serve you to allow the new to enter into your life. I really do feel like some of you are going to let go of relationships or maybe physically or even energetically. I do feel like I do feel new energies coming into your life. Happy energies, actually, that's going to be coming into your life. OK, um, I keep seeing this a new business opportunity. This is here again. We saw that with the windfall, but it says a new business opportunity will present itself that could require traveling. Very interesting because I see travel, travel, travel and job or business or windfalls. This is really good that this is coming out in your reading because these these are two different decks and they're pretty much saying the same thing. So a lot of reassurance when it comes down to your finances here, okay? But again, a lot of you are hiding behind a smile and hurting on the inside, right? Um, and I just didn't expect to see that with a Leo reading. I just didn't. And that, that Oracle is brand new for me. So I didn't know what was going to come out for you guys. I really didn't. <laughs> But let's go ahead. Let's see what's going to come out here. Yeah, it says you have strong psychic abilities. That's what we saw with that increase in wealth and increase with spiritual growth. And so now you're going to use your spiritual growth as what? To make good decisions. A lot of you are going to be walking away from a player who is a liar or walking away from someone who is a liar, someone who has been lying to you. Um, and that could hurt, you know, because how much stock did you put into that person? So what are you going to do? Set new goals, start focusing on yourself, reprioritizing you is something that I'm saying. You also have this card here with your soulmate is not who you think they are. So I definitely see a, a, uh, a newer energy coming in here for a lot of you. Okay. Let's go ahead. Let's get one more card here for Leo. You've been through a lot. <laughs> I see fights and arguments that some of you may be having. Some people disguise, you know, their crooks, you know, their sleaze balls, you know, disguised as friends or, uh, you know, someone who's here to help you. It's that type of thing. Thank you. You're going to meet someone here that has the same values as you do. Okay. Children are a factor. So I do feel like uh, for some of you, this does have something to do with children. Um, and for others, I don't, I don't know, children always represents a new beginning here for me. That's such a broad energy for, for some of you. You may want children or, you know, uh, someone's children is getting away of your connection. It could be something like that. But it's just a, such a broad energy. Let's go ahead. Let's get one more. I don't want it to keep it right there. I see a lot of change here for you. I really do. I really do, Leo. Let's go ahead. Yeah, there it is again. Increase in money. I definitely see that. I love it. Okay. And some of you are single or you will be single. This is giving you the opportunity to be free, right? And to regain balance here with the Libra energy. I love it. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get your last deck here. Um, oh, wait a minute. I actually, I did not use. Let's get two cards from this deck and then let's get to the Tarot. I didn't use the Tarot. This is for Leo. Thank you. One more, please, for Leo. One more. For Leo. Thank you. All right, so you have a choice, a certain direction for you to go in. Junction, which direction will you go? Choices. And again, this is a part of the opportunities that will be coming your way. Yeah, I see that you guys are getting focused, getting back focused again, regaining that balance. Like I said before, a lot of you are very spiritual. You're going to be using what you know with metaphysics for some of you to manifest. So I really do see that for a lot of you, things are really going to go your way. Your money looks so good here. I love it. Let's go ahead. This is for Leo's Eclipse Energy. Leo, whatever is in reverse is in reverse. Whatever is upright is upright. 
Let's see what's going to come out here for Leo. This is for Leo. Hopefully you guys got that message in the beginning of this. Hopefully you got it, okay? Um, I wanna go back, cause I wanna make sure it didn't sound all over the place, but I wanna make sure that you guys got that message. Cause your reading looks good. There is some endings here though, and it may hurt, but you know, it's, it looks like you guys are going to be better off, to be honest with you. There we go, magician. Magician is an upright position. I love it. It talks about your your willpower, your concentration, your ability to get, you know, resources and you being very resourceful. You're being inspired to act in the direction that you want to go in. I love it. I love it. Remember I said something about metaphysics, right? This is what I'm saying, okay? You're using the power of your mind. Some of you guys really are magicians, right? All right, let's see. Three of Wands in the upright. This is expansion. I love this for you, Leo. I love this manifesting. Big ideas, big developments coming up for you. Mm -hmm. And the moon here in reverse, which talks about releasing fear and anxiety, trusting your intuition. Love it. Let's get one more. And the Empress. That's right. Knowing your worth and again, abundance. 